Hi everyone, I'm Matt from Look Into Bitcoin, and today we're going to be looking at how you can use on-chain metrics to try and trade Bitcoin's shorter-term moves. To do this, we'll be using a number of resources that are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So right now on the Look Into Bitcoin site, we're just on the Whale Shadows chart, which I think is one of the better tools for trying to look at Bitcoin's more short-term intra-week volatile moves as opposed to more of a long-term macro investing. So if you weren't already aware, the Whale Shadows chart is monitoring the Bitcoin network to look at large wallets that haven't moved any Bitcoin in a long time that have just begun to move a substantial amount of BTC. So that might sound a little confusing and on the Look Into Bitcoin site we do have a little more explaining here and we do have a video on the channel so I'd check that if you want a little bit more in-depth on what the Whale Shadows chat is actually showing us. But what this is really doing is showing us when people who haven't moved Bitcoin for a very long period of time, in this case, seven plus years, are moving at least 100 Bitcoin on the network. And this is usually indicative of a big upcoming move to the downside. So we can see here, if we just isolate this over the past couple cycles, we can see anytime we get these huge spikes to the upside that a lot of old Bitcoin from wallets that haven't been used in a long period of time are beginning to move. Usually this indicates going to an exchange, potentially to sell. This often precedes a big dump in the market. And unlike a lot of other on-chain charts, we can see that this effect is almost immediate. Every time we get one of these spikes, there usually isn't a few weeks or a few months where you can take your time to react slowly. These can often indicate an immediate move that if you know how to take advantage of this, either by taking profit on your position, or even if you're a little bit more experienced, potentially trying to short, you can see these whale shadows provide a great tool to know potentially when to time the market. And secondly, another tool that is definitely geared towards more shorter term traders is the active address sentiment indicator or the AASI. And what this is doing is looking at on-chain wallet activity compared to the recent price movement in Bitcoin. And again, we've done a video on this that goes a little bit more in-depth into the calculations and everything you see on the chart here, so I definitely recommend checking that out. What we can see, there's a few lines at the bottom here if we just remove the Bitcoin price that give us a little bit of insight and potentially when Bitcoin could be very overheated or potentially at a discount on a very short-term basis. So this orange line we see here is the 28-day price change of Bitcoin in percentage terms and if we just zoom in a little bit we can see the 28 day active address change in percentage terms too that's just this slightly lighter gray line here and we just have some standard deviation bands based on this data too and what we can see based on these standard deviation bands that the network addresses change gives us we can see when the price change goes significantly beneath this lower green deviation line it's usually a good sign to pick up some cheap bitcoin for a short term move and the same is true when it moves above the red line it may be a good area to potentially take some profit on your positions or even take a short term short on the market so if we zoom out re-add the price we can see this a little bit more in depth if we just isolate this over the previous cycle so we can see immediately as bitcoin's topping out it usually happens way substantially above this red line here and as bitcoin is at a bit of a discount and usually a good area to pick up for a short-term trade this orange line dips beneath this lower green standard deviation band and this is a really great tool for having multiple different buy and sell signals within a short time frame every few weeks potentially multiple times a month we get these short-term buy signals where comparatively bitcoin is at an undervalued level and once we then get this price change surpassing this red line this can usually be a great place to take some profit i think a very good strategy one could implement is using these shorter term time frame charts which give us more data on a much more condensed shorter time frame alongside some longer term more macro swing charts so if you were using this active address sentiment indicator for example rather than just trying to trade every single move that is available to you you could use it alongside some of the other charts and tools available on lookintobitcoin.com and wait until bitcoin on a long-term swing basis is potentially in a sell area very much overbought overheated market and then once we are in that area use the active address sentiment indicator or the whale shadows to actually try and time the market a little bit more precisely and the same is true for the downside rather than just blindly following any chart any data metric use multiple alongside each other once bitcoin on the long-term basis is in potentially a buy area you can load up the active address sentiment indicator wait till we get some of these short-term buy signals to get multiple great entries for a long-term bitcoin position 
or just for some more reassurance that even if Bitcoin is very much undervalued and the active address sentiment indicator is flashing potentially a buy signal, that this is likely an area where Bitcoin's price may bounce. So just to summarize, while on-chain data is usually best suited to longer term macro investing, multiple on-chain charts and tools provide live insights that are most effective when acted on quickly. Such as the whale shadows, if we see a big spike in on-chain movement from large players in the Bitcoin space, this usually indicates that a sell move is coming and it might be best to react immediately rather than waiting for longer term more macro confirmation on the move. Along with this, the AASI or the Active Address Sentiment Indicator chart can provide multiple buy or sell signals every month for those that want to try and be in and out of trades much more frequently and are trying to play the intra-month, intra-week volatility of cryptocurrencies. Another thing to consider is unlike most traditional markets, Bitcoin is a 24-7 market with a constantly active network. This means that there is constantly activity that needs to be monitored, whale shadows that need to be taken into account, and price movements that happen any day or any hour of the year. So it's always worth keeping an eye on the current data and information provided as it may give you just that extra little bit of an edge in your Bitcoin investing and trading. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com where you can also consider becoming a site subscriber to gain access to live charts, in-depth newsletters, indicator alerts, private trading view scripts, and more, all for a fraction of the standard industry price. Considering Bitcoin is a 24-7 market, alerts that can give you up-to-date information on the current charts and tools we have on lookintobitcoin.com might be an invaluable tool if you're more of a short-term trader and investor. Also, let me know what's your investment strategy. Do you ever play the short-term intra-month swings on Bitcoin to try and get that little bit of extra profits on the market? Or are you more of a long-term macro investor? Let me know in the comments down below. I look forward to reading and replying to all of them. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.